Good morning, this is a short shaman oil reading for Sunday. I'm using the illustrated herbary book and the cards. And this reading here is for Pisces. Welcome Pisces, you got the card Apple, the forbidden fruit. Apple has been given grief since in the beginning when she learned that feeding people and teaching them to know themselves can be a dangerous thing. So she became associated with snakes, with shame and with thick leaves. And it's been all dance lessons, curtsies and domestication from there on. So the apple is the witch of the wild wood forced to clean up and come in for tea. But a skirt and pumps cannot hide her knowledge of the circling stars and cycling seasons. The deep loam of the earth and the warm weep of a summer rain. We may think that we have tamed the wild apple and brought her to heal, but even quasi domesticated, she will still gift us with the sweetness of understanding ourselves. The apple is asking, what have you forbidden yourself? There is a ritual called step into sensation, asking what is the self. We tend to define it narrowly as our thoughts, our relationships and our jobs. But the apple knows that getting to know ourselves is a multidimensional process. The self begins in our physical body and everything it can feel, taste, see, hear and smell. For this ritual, the apple is asking us to focus on sensation. So start with an apple for any fruit or vegetable you can eat raw and use your senses to investigate its taste scent, feel, the sound made when the skin tears open. But here's the trick. Instead of noting your observations about the apple, note your observations about yourself observing your interactions with the apple. When you hold the apple, how and where do you feel it? Does your body focus on the sensation of the skin, on your fingertips or on the weight of the apple in your hand? And when you bite into the apple, where specifically on your tongue do you taste its flesh? Does the taste disappear when you swallow? Does your body feel the apple passing down? your throat and into your stomach. When you observe how your physical being interacts with the world, even in something as routine as eating an apple, you can begin to better understand and accept your whole self. Now do a reflection called hidden desires. We try to tame things that scare us. Self-knowledge is no different. We hide our deep wisdom, our intuition, our needs and our desires under a layer of enculturation, refusing to acknowledge what we consider inappropriate or grandiose. These hidden knowings and longings are snakes in the garden, the sorcerers of knowledge trying to wake us up. 
Do you stifle your body when it wants to move in certain ways? Do you choke back your voice when it wants to chant or sing? Do you eat what you are supposed to inst what you are supposed to instead of what your body craves? Do you listen to the quiet voice of your intuition? And most of all, do you have thoughts that feel like snakes in the garden pointing you toward embarrassing or dark truths? If you are having trouble finding what is hidden, start by recalling the last time you felt ashamed, insecure or out of integrity with yourself. Knowledge is a knife that cuts both ways. It can be self-conscious, beat yourself into submission, or it can be self-aware, rejoicing in the incredible creation that you are. How can you both know and love yourself? Ask yourself that question. That was your reading, Pisces. I hope you liked it a little bit. Thank you for listening. I do wish you a joyous Sunday. Take care and goodbye.